Hello there everybody, this is Tigatar here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Hardcore. Here we are pondering life while we stand at the ocean at nighttime, because I uh, have made a Graves error and <laughs> kind of screwed up my footage from last episode. Well, technically what was going to be a last episode. So, I'm just going to summarize what I did while I was trying to record last time and sort of explain the things that have all happened. So, first thing, um, I started off with some wall of flesh grinding. We needed to find ourselves a goat skull and also a ranger emblem still. So, started off with that and in order to do that, I moved the guide to a little house down in the underworld here so the guide would just spawn here we could move him to the house and then drop him in the lava manually and that way we wouldn't need as many guide voodoo dolls so anyway did that farmed the wall of flesh a couple of times and another thing that i did was i forgot that we actually had multiple magma stones on us so i used one of them combined it with our molten quiver, I mean our magic quiver, so now we got a molten quiver. So our arrows are now endless and apply frost burn as well as regular fire uh, burn. So anyway, took these new fancy endless arrows down to the underworld, killed wall of flesh, I think it was three or maybe even four times before we finally did end up with a ranger emblem which I reforged to menacing and also got a goat skull, which is right here because right after I finished getting the goat skull, which took another one or two walls after the ranger emblem, I was heading to the hallow on the surface to summon up queen slime to try to take her out. And a unicorn randomly dropped a blessed apple. So right after I finished grinding for the dang goat skull, and we just got a blessed apple. So now we got a unicorn to ride on, so that's kind of nice. It was actually pretty dang hilarious. So anyway, what I, want, what I was doing in the end was preparing for Queen Slime because I wanted to be able to take out a hard mode boss. And as you'll notice down here at the relic display, we actually have two new relics since last episode, both King and Queen Slime. So another thing that I did was um, take some gravestones and after killing the guide during the wall of flesh summoning a couple more times, let's see if I can find, we ended up with a total of seven different gravestones here. So that's just enough to make the graveyard biome. And so went ahead, placed those down up f around the dryad and got ourselves some crimson seeds. And I was actually over near the left-hand ocean um, just putting down some crimson grass and then some stone underneath it and you'll see it's actually just about finished spreading to all the stone that i put down and that way we can have some crimson fishing and i have a little fishing spot already set up i actually need to run over there and test whether or not it's actually crimson and make sure that there are enough blocks there but anyway while i was over here trying to set this up King Slime spawned, and uh, I just rained down endless arrows from the sky and basically murdered him. So it worked out very well. Now, oh wow, there's a possessed armor there. I didn't even see that guy. Let's see, is this even crimson? Okay, I think it is. The music is crimson, and I see the water is uh, kind of reddish. It's weird though. It's like on the edge of crimson and corruption, because I think the background Oh, no, no, maybe that is Crimson Background. It must be Crimson Background, but it's the one that looks similar to the corrupt version of it. Okay. Anyway, another thing you'll notice is um, it's a Lantern Knight. That is because I actually was able to defeat Queen Slime twice, actually, because she's a pretty dang easy hard mode boss. And Queen Slime and King Slime were the only two bosses that... I defeated last episode and don't have footage to show of but on the bright side I do still need to kill Queen Slime again because I did not get a hook of dissonance from her so we gotta fight Queen Slime so we're gonna do that today 
And then I guess we could fight King Slime as well just for fun, even though uh, we don't need anything from him. But it's good to see that we have Crimson here, so we can go ahead and start doing some Crimson fishing. Also, you may notice that uh, I have a few more minutes of a Poison Flask running here. I uh, went through a bunch of effort to craft a Flask of Poison so that we could fight Queen Slime with it. And then as I was fighting Queen Slime and drank the Flask, I realized that we're using a repeater and the flask has no effect on our damage or anything like that. So that was a bit of a dummy moment. And on top of that, I had forgotten to bring archery potions, which I now have on hand, but I forgot to during the fight. So what I think we should start off with is probably just going and finding a couple more gelatin crystals from the underground hallow. And then maybe we could also fight King Slime just for fun. Let's see if we have enough uh, goodies to make ourselves a crown. Looks like we do. Plenty of spare platinum here and some rubies. So now we just have to take that and visit a demon altar to craft that slimy crown or whatever it's called. But maybe before we do that, let's head and see if we can find a couple of gelatin crystals. Wait a second. I just realized this boulder trap, which we disabled a while ago, it has a gem tree growing right where the pressure plate was. That is so weird. I wonder if the gem tree generated on top of the pressure plate and broke it. So this trap was never actually active in the first place. That is super weird. Oh, here we go. I see one here. Finally got a gelatin crystal right here. Also got a chaos elemental right in our face. Holy moly. There we go. Get that gelatin crystal. I wonder if we can find one or two more while we're down here. It might be worth it. Picking up just some regular crystal shards and of course souls of light never hurts either. Blast these illuminant slimes out of here. Oh, there's a lava pool down here. I guess we're getting kind of low. Well, looks like uh, I'm not going to find too many more gelatin crystals without doing some extra digging. So maybe I'll just call it good on that one for now. Hopefully we get a hook of dissonance and then we won't have to worry about more gelatin crystals. But we will see. Uh, we might end up down here again. Let's head back and let's head up to the surface and find ourselves. Oops, I missed the pressure plate. Let's see if we can find ourselves a demon altar to craft a slimy crown just so that we have both summons just for fun man it's been quite a while since i rode a unicorn actually most of the time i get the uh goat skull because i normally play on master mode and so i don't really have uh, many opportunities to uh to use the unicorn anymore it's kind of fun all right here we are slime crown okay i guess it's not slimy crown it's just slime crown Let's take that, and with these potions, I think we should be pretty much set up to go. Also, I did manage to get a mechanical eye from some random enemy, I think a hallowed enemy. With that mechanical eye, we actually have all three mechanical boss summons ready to go here. And honestly, we're pretty much getting close to being able to take those guys on, actually. Um, we need to do a little bit of hallowed fishing and stock up on prismites. I caught just like three of them last time so that I could make just one or two life force potions. I'm honestly not even going to use a life force potion for queen slime again because it was not too challenging for me. And that way we'll save on those potion material. And then the other thing we got to do is catch some crimson tiger fish and hemo piranhas. Oh, one last block of stone holding out in the corner there. And after we catch those, then we should have all the potions that we need to take on the mechanical bosses. But with what we have now, you know, maybe, maybe just to be uh, complete, before we fight these couple of bosses, let's see what the fishing quest is. It's a, oh, it's a tropical barracuda. That's kind of a dangerous one right now. Jungle surface, although I think we can make it over to this little box here if we just use our magic conch which i guess is in uh, our piggy bank here pull out the magic conch and we'll just use that to get over to the right hand ocean and hopefully we can pick up a quick tropical barracuda and uh just get another quest out of the way i'm still looking for that high test fishing line 
We got the angler earring as well as the tackle box, but still no high test fishing line. And also with this rain, it'd probably be worth harvesting some water leaf. We also don't have our angler pants yet. We just have the top two pieces of the set. So that could be another nice pickup before we are fully set up to do our last fish uh, fishing. All right, here we are in the jangle. Get our fishing pole out. We got a little bit of bait on us. Should be enough to do this. Put our fishing accessories on that we do have and hopefully we should be safe to just sit here while the tortoises and everything else to run around us. Actually, it would, oh nice, there it is. Tropical Barracuda on the second try. All right, make sure we put our correct accessories back on and our armor, very important. Now, maybe we can just kill this, uh, these tortoises while we're here. And if we get lucky, we could get a couple of shells, which we might be able to use later on, but we'll see. Well, I was hoping they would just end up on top of the box and I could shoot out at them, but it looks like our spider's doing most of the work for us. Um, maybe I'll just peek out and get the last couple of hits. No turtle shell, it looks like. Let's head back and turn in this quest fish. All right, see what we get from Bobby here. A pair of fin wings, oh my gosh. I actually got a pair of those last time too, but it's too late. We already have our warning fairy wings, so the fin wings are not any uh, are not any upgrade to us at all. Okay, let's put just a couple of these things that we don't need on us away in chests. Oh, we got our first vertebra from one of those crimson enemies at our custom crimson biome, nice. We're gonna have to get enough stone, which is one of the reasons why I put so much stone here, so that we can pick that up and move it to our grinder down here, and that way we'll be able to get cr underground crimson enemies, and we need to kill some ichor stickers for ichor, so that we can make flasks of ichor eventually, in case we should need those. Although as long as we're running a repeater or ranged weapon, those aren't actually going to help us. I think uh, I think we're ready to go fight a couple of these slimy bosses. Why not? Let's head up top here and make it over to the hallow, which actually is spreading pretty fast here towards spawn. The little barrier that I put up here evidently has not uh, has not cut it at all. I'm sure that the hallow just skipped around on little pieces of grass underground and went around it. Maybe, you know what, maybe I should just add another barrier coming up right here for it or something. And if, if I just do this with some wood, that should theoretically stop it right there actually. So we'll see if that does anything. Let's continue this way and actually what I want to do is make it up to the giant platform that we have in the sky which actually if you for if you forgot about this platform this is the reason why Queen Slime is so easy because we can just fly all the way up to that platform oh wow I summoned Queen Slime and saw her on the screen as soon as I summoned so we can fly up here and I did test this earlier we can just barely make it up to the platform from that tree and then we're pretty much just free to run along it as long as we want and just shoot our infinite arrows back at her and we may as well drink our potions as well be sure we stay safe and we'll get a bunch of extra damage from our archery potions as well as like wrath potions and stuff we don't yet have rage potions but we don't need it just for queen slime it's pretty simple in the first stage here i think it's actually more uh more damage if we use the Daedalus because I can hit more arrows but during the second stage I find it easier just to use the repeater because it's more consistent damage all right she's actually just about in second stage here and there she goes okay I think what I might do is start on heading to the left get on our unicorn and at this point we just basically run for it very highly highly skillful boss fight insane mechanical display right here and uh, you can just witness the greatness as it happens see if I can set a new record oh nope never mind she's she stopped sometimes her pattern doesn't change for a long time in this second phase and she'll just fly right above me continuously for like it seems like a long time anyway all right, she's almost down. As you can see, it's not the most challenging fight, especially when you have a platform the size of the whole world almost. 
And there she goes. She's out of here. We got another relic, no trophy. And let's see if we get that hook of dissonance. Still no hook of dissonance. Oh man, well, we might have to fight her another time or two. But we don't need the hook right away. So let's uh, let's fight Qu King Slime as well, just uh, to be complete. King Slime is so slow that the Daedalus definitely is easy to hit with. And yeah, it kind of just melts him. Oh man, <laughs> that was even faster than I fought him last time because of the archery potion. Holy cow. And we also got our 100th blue slime. Nice. Still no uh, no no trophy from that guy. So the Wall of Flesh is still the only boss that we've actually got a trophy from. Well, nice. Now we're at least caught up on the bosses that I skipped out on from messing up the recording. I think we are pretty much ready to get ready for the mechanical bosses. But I'm definitely going to need to take these guys a bit more seriously. And so it's probably going to be worth getting all the rest of the potions that we can namely the life force heart reach and rage potions so let's get going on that real quick so let's head over to the ocean to start off with and let's see if we can catch ourselves just a couple of a hemo piranhas and whatever the other ones are crimson tiger fish test out our crimson fishing zone for the first time here Let's see how it goes. Uh, unfortunately, I did not bring much bait, but we only need a couple of fish to get going here, and then we'll be able to at least try one or two mechanical bosses. Oh, nice, we got a Nimbus Rod too. Wow, that's cool. Definitely could be useful for the Destroyer, actually. Honestly, like, that would help out, so that's cool. We got two Crimson Tiger Fish. If I could get a couple of Hemo Piranhas, I would actually feel pretty good. Oh, there's one, excellent. We might be able to make just enough potions to actually fight some mechanical bosses tonight. Another Hemo Piranha. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. I think we've still only used like two or three worms, maybe. So that's actually pretty good. If I get one more Hemo Piranha, I think I'm gonna be happy. Uh, actually, that's crazy. We've got four pearl wood crates plus a titanium crate while sitting here. Wow, it must be the perfect time of day, and it's raining. There's another Hemo Piranha and an extra balloon puffer fish at the end. Let's head back with those. But yeah, with the rain and everything, we had so much fishing power. We were we were reeling them in fast. All right, that is awesome. So actually, since I have, let's see. Since I have these two extra prismites from fishing last time, real quick, better put my accessories back on before I forget. We actually can make all the potions that we should need right now, I believe. We got plenty of iron skin, regen, endurance, some extra wrath, and a lot of seafood dinners, as well as a pretty good stock of archery potions. So if we just add in some rage potions, make a couple of those we can't afford too many but we'll do some more fishing soon and then these life force oh wow look at that we got six life force potions out of those two prismites that's really good and also heart reach i almost forgot we can make quite a few of those and oh i just heard the music shift to nighttime so i think it's perfect timing that we grab our boss summons let's see here i'm thinking probably the destroyer first and in order to do that, let's equip our holy arrows in the first slot. Let's head up to the... Actually, you know what we should do is head to our desert pylon where we can fly up to the end of our arena up here. And wow, we actually still have potions running from whenever... Oh, I forgot. I already have my arrows equipped. Okay, well anyway, let's not wait too long. Even though it's a full moon and there are werewolves, I think we can just fight the destroyer. Let's see how this goes. Drink the rest of these potions. Oh my gosh, no, that's not good, that's not good. Let's get out of here and make some distance. I got hit by the head right away and it almost one-shot us. Gosh dang it, that is not what you wanna do. Ah oh, man. Oh shoot, I also forgot that I should be using the Daedalus, of course. Oh my gosh. This should be really easy with the Daedalus and that's why I chose to summon the Destroyer first here. But getting hit by the head is not a good way to start off. And he got pretty close to us there as well. Oh my gosh. Actually, we're taking a whole lot of damage here. Oh my goodness. 
this is not good. My health potion is still not up. Maybe we can get some hearts if we run back the other way here. Keep just shooting these arrows down. We should hit him. There we go. Oh man, we actually have taken a lot of damage here. It's a bit scary. Let's go back to the right and hopefully pick up a heart or two. That would be great. Here he comes again. Get our unicorn to get some extra speed. Okay, our potion's up and we've collected a few more hearts. So our health is actually in much better shape already. So I think, I think we've saved it, but oh man, that was actually very scary at the start there. That was not a, not a good start whatsoever here. We still gotta be pretty careful and not get too ahead of ourselves. Careful of werewolves and zombies on the platform. Holy moly, there are a lot of probes right here, actually. That is crazy. That's gonna be a lot of hearts to pick up though if we can run back this way. And looks like I'm gonna need to rebuff some of our potions as well. Okay, he's almost down and our potions are now rebuffed so we should be good to finish this guy off. He's almost down. This should finish him. There he goes, nice. Get that relic and the treasure bag right away before it falls down. And there we go. Okay, so that guy's out of here. I wonder if we can do the twins. I don't have a watch on me, but I have a feeling we should have enough time here to do these guys. Let's see if I can use our repeater probably mostly and uh, get some good damage down on spasmatism here. Focus down spazzy first if I can and we'll just see how this goes. I'm imagining it should be okay because we still have all of our potions running and with the holy arrows, they are quite strong. And actually he's not being accurate at all with his green fire. So we're actually doing a great job of evading that so far, which is usually one of the things I struggle with the most. All right, he's missing us again. What a loser. Oh, that one's gonna hit though. Okay, we gotta finally dodge that one. And I flew up into one of the other green flame balls, but that's okay. At the end of the day, I'll survive for now. <laughs> Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Okay, he's about to transform where I can get a couple of hits with our Daedalus in, and now I'm going to go back to the repeater. Okay, let's see if we can focus down Spazzy here. I'm going to drink a health potion just because I have the health available. Oh man, he actually got us just a little bit with that flamethrower there. Didn't quite get out of range quick enough. Oh gosh. Oh shoot, I just really messed that up. I might have to recall here. Oh my gosh, no! Are you serious? Holy... Holy moly, dude! That's... That's not what's supposed to happen at all! Oh my gosh. Wow. So... What happened there, the main reason that, or the main thing that I screwed up on so badly was mounting on the unicorn uh, at the wrong time. So normally what I try to do is dash and then jump on the mount immediately. So I get a basically immediate acceleration on the unicorn, but I screwed it up and I got offset. So I was mounting and then trying to dash instead of dashing and then trying to mount. And so it basically just meant that I wasn't moving when I thought that I, or when I was trying to. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, that is so embarrassing. That's like one of the easiest fights for me always. And I just totally, totally biffed it there. Wow, look at that. It's a little bit over uh, halfway through the night, so we had lots and lots of time, too. Oh my gosh. Dude. That is so dumb. Ah, uh, I swear, I'm just not in the hardcore mindset. It's, it's crazy. Like, I've been playing some Summoner, and actually, after working on Tigaria a lot, that's on my mind as well. I don't know, man. I'm just not taking it as seriously as I need to. But messing up with my dashes and the unicorn is so bad right there. Well, that's definitely one of the most embarrassing ways to die. To the twins! Oh man. Spazzy's almost down and I just start messing up my movement and he just basically eats us alive. I was thinking about recalling right there too, but I just I did not react quick enough. 
I assumed that I could get a dash off and like get distance, but how am I this bad, dude? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that at all. Well, at least we technically got through the destroyer, so I mean, it's not a terrible, terrible run or anything, but well, actually it kind of is. <laughs> I think technically we got farther than last time, right? Last hardcore, we got confronted by pirates and crimson right as we entered hard mode and so that took forever to deal with and then it got slapped by a giant tortoise i remember that very clearly this time we actually got some hard mode bosses taken down well we got queen slime who's easy and the destroyer who's also pretty dang easy and then the twins who honestly are easy too but i just completely failed on the dashing department and I guess that's how you end a hardcore run right there. I can't remember how many episodes our last hardcore series went, but this was supposed to be a speedrun to dying, and if we made it in less episodes than last run, I guess we can call it a success. Anyway, pretty dang disappointing, that is for sure. I guess I'll be starting again with hardcore, and honestly, you know what, kind of resetting mentally and thinking about it. I kind of am looking forward to playing the first part of the game again. But what I'm definitely gonna need to remind myself of is to be able to change mindsets to get into the hardcore mode, to actually take every enemy and every boss as seriously as I can, not be afraid to recall out. Every time that I end up, oh, look at that, there's three fairies. That's interesting, it just became daytime as well and the fairies are still there. I thought that they would uh, fly away as soon as it became daytime. Will they fly away when I go close? Oh my gosh, they don't. Dude, I've never flown next to fairies before. That is so cool. Wow, this is pretty fun actually. <laughs> anyway, yeah, next time I'm going to be extra careful to always remind myself that it's dang hardcore and I'm not gonna just take the twins for granted or anything because it really, really should not be this hard for me to complete hardcore. I mean, I've been playing this game for a little while now. Anyway, I'll stop ranting here. I apologize for the massive disappointment, but I'm looking forward to starting a new world, and honestly, it's gonna be pretty fun. I like this game, so I'm not terribly disappointed overall. I guess for the final episode of Dying in Hardcore here, as I finally fulfill the title of the series, is going to be Lara Nanche by Neck. I believe it's a German song. I actually could be wrong about that though. Anyway, I just uh, was searching around and discovered it recently. So check that one out if you're interested. It's kind of cool. Check out the Discord if you're interested. There's a link down in the description. And other than that, thank you guys a whole ton for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my failure, and I hope you have an outstanding rest of your day.